James Akers here, the tie guy. Today we're going to be tying kind of a unique tie. It's a tie that I have not tied yet. It is an iridescent gray silverish Hermes, or Hermé, depending on how you say it. Hermes, I think, is the proper pronunciation. Uh, I don't know if the camera can quite pick it up. Uh, it's a gray tie, but it has like this iridescent sheen to it. So depending on how the light hits it, it has like a pink hue, a purple hue, just kind of a little bit of a glow to it. It's really cool. But it is an Hermé, so it's a uh, Hermé. Uh, it's made in France. You know, it's a French tie. Uh, very well made. The silk always hangs nice. It's always nice and smooth. Uh, I've got several of their ties, and they're all absolutely wonderful. They make a thinner tie, very similar to a Salvatore Ferragamo tie as far as the thickness of the tie. And the silk, also very, very similar. I think those two would probably be about the closest two of the uh, major luxury brands uh, out there. In my, in my personal opinion, I think they're pretty close together. So um, very well made tie. I'm looking forward to tying it up because it's pretty unique. I like it. So we're pairing it with a pink shirt because I like gray and pink together and a charcoal gray suit. So let's put this together, tie it up, see how it comes together. All right. So we've got, um, I'm going to find our spot first. Because this is similar to a Ferragamo and my other Hermes ties, I'm going to be somewhere right around here. Hermé, Hermes, you know, potato, potato. It's a French name. I'm American. I don't pronounce French very good. No offense to the French, but I think it's a beautiful language, but uh, we'll get there. All right. Uh, I found my spot here. I'm going to, whoops, I lost my spot. Found my spot, then I lost my spot. Right about here should be perfect. So we're going to take the long part of the tie over the short part. We're going to come around behind, up and through. Then we're going to come down around the tie, keeping everything nice and tight, up, over, and through. Now we just look at our checkpoint, make sure our knot's coming together really nice, which it is. Then we take uh, around the front, back in behind, and through. And then we're going to push it down through that little pocket we just created in the front, hold the top of the pocket, pull the tie down through. Take the sides of the tie. Now, this is why it's important to take the sides. I'm going to show you this because this tie just did it. See how this is bunching up right here? We want to turn this down. We don't want that bunching up. So I'm actually reaching up into the knot to turn it down because I want it to be nice and smooth. Hold the knot, pull down the, on the long part of the tie to create our triangle. Then we hold the knot and pull the shorter part of the tie up to our neck. And then we want to check for our length. We want the tip of the tie, this part right here, to be between the top and the bottom of our belt buckle. And we are right about halfway, absolutely perfect. So I nailed that one. But if you watch my other videos, you see me tie sometimes two, three times. It happens. Let's put this color down. Let's just see how the whole thing comes together. Tidy it all up here. <coughs> Excuse me. We don't want any gaps at the top, so we're going to get rid of this gap here. What, the way I'm doing that is I'm holding the knot. I'm pulling on the shorter part of the tie while pulling up on the knot. That's how you adjust it. Now we have a perfectly tied tie. It's symmetrical. We have a nice triangle going on. I'm going to take the back, put it in the strap or the keeper in the back of the tie. And looking good. I like it. Let's put this outfit together. The look's going to start scrolling across the bottom of your screen. I'm going to throw it with you right now. Today we're wearing a charcoal gray Amerna Gildo Zenia suit. We're wearing a pink Brooks Brothers shirt. We're wearing, um, let me just say something about Brooks Brothers real quick because I've had some people ask me why I wear Brooks Brothers shirts when I wear so many Italian brands. Um, I just bought uh, some new shirts on my last trip to Neiman Marcus. Shout out to my guy Andre down there. I bought some Eaton shirts because I really like Eaton shirts. They just have a really nice texture to them. Uh, these are brand new shirts, uh, but I can't buy them off the rack. They had to be custom fit to me. So now they fit me perfect. I actually just tried them on this morning. They just arrived yesterday. So I've got uh, three brand new Eaton shirts, uh, two different shades of blue and a white shirt. Um, gorgeous shirts, you know, absolutely beautiful shirts, very high quality construction. And they're a good shirt. They're in the $250 price range. You know, they're not as expensive as a Xenia, which I have some of those as well. But, but the point is they have to be custom fit to me. When I buy Brooks Brothers, their Milano fit fits me perfectly off the rack. Like I don't have to have any alterations or anything done to it. So that's why I have a lot of Brooks Brothers in my wardrobe because the way it fits me. I'm not hung up on the label. I like what fits me good, feels good, and is good quality. So, so that's why. I'm not, and I'm not plugging for Brooks Brothers or anyone else. I'm just saying it doesn't require fit. So my suggestion is if you can find a shirt or a brand and you can find a fit that fits you well, that's what you go with. Okay, so back to our look here. So uh, gray, a Myrna Jones in your suit. Pink uh, Brooks Brothers shirt. We have a silverish gray Hermé or Hermes tie that has an iridescent sheen to it. We're pairing that today with a black Salvatore Ferragamo belt with a gold belt buckle and a pair of red bottom Christian Louboutin 
black Oxfords. Hey, if you want to check out my Instagram, Tie Guy James Acres, you'll see close-ups of the shoes, the belt, um, the uh, the labels, the tie. Uh, you'll see uh, selfies of me wearing the whole outfit, the whole thing put together, as well as it's staged on my wall here. So check out my Instagram, Tie Guy James Acres. Guys, please click subscribe and like if you enjoyed my videos. I'm always creating content for you, and I am ready for work.